the beautiful part in this and the gift in this for me was the fact that speaking my truth, I've reconnected with old friends. I have found incredibly beautiful souls out there who are all on the same page and on the same mission to help people. This isn't about shaming anybody. It's not about ridiculing anybody. It's about creating awareness and we need to be united, not divided, which is what the media has done. So I'm here with Jamie Soleil, and of course, everybody knows her from the skating world, Olympic gold medalist and so forth. Gold dust sprinkled all over it, one of the great skates in Olympic history. And it's not enough. Were they robbed? Was it rigged? Those are the kinds of questions a lot of people were asking today about last night's decision to give the Olympic gold medal in pairs figure skating to the Russians over the Canadians. They felt they'd earned it, Canada believed it, and so did most of the world. Now finally, the International Olympic Committee has agreed. David Pelche and Jamie Sele will get a gold medal for f pairs figure skating. The stunning announcement came today, along with the news that the French judge at the center of the scandal has been suspended. Ultimately, cheated out of enjoying that moment when the flag is raised and the anthem is played. Again, we didn't do anything wrong, they didn't do anything wrong. This is not about the skaters. And the flash bulbs going off here at the Salt Lake Ice Center, as this time both teams are atop the podium. This whole audience realizes the historical importance of this moment, unprecedented in Olympic history. Quite, quite the story, quite the life. Tell me about, though, your, your involvement with Canadians for, for Truth. Well, it started uh, with me connecting with Theo through um, finding out that he was on the same uh, path as I was, which was look, searching for truth because I knew uh, when I woke up about a year and a bit ago, there was something not right. And um, so I connected with him, uh, I know him personally, so I said, Theo, it's so nice to see that you see all this. And, you know, time went on and we both just kept supporting each other on social media platforms. And then he became involved with Canadians for Truth, Freedom and Justice uh, with uh, Joel Borgo. And um, they, they just asked me if I'd be interested in being involved with their team and helping spread more truth and eventually creating um, a very amazing platform uh, that would not be able to be canceled or censored or anything and it would be more of a north american platform um, if i would be involved in this and i said i'm all in because i've seen what this whole thing has done to families and individual people just to everybody and you know, you and I both know the censorship that's been going on for the last, I mean, it's been pretty much forever, but this has been the worst that we've ever seen over the last two years. I mean, you've got incredibly world-renowned doctors, scientists, anybody that has been, you know, on a platform, a, a huge platform before this that is speaking out is being cancelled and vilified. If you Google them now, they're like called every name in the book. And so for us people that trust them right now still and are trying to share their, their uh, interviews and their word um, and the fact that the, the rest of the public isn't seeing it is incredibly frustrating. So for me, I'm all about helping humanity. I've always been one that wants to help people. I was a life coach even. I like seeing people succeed and I like people seeing becoming the best version of themselves and having that self-love. And so to see so many people torn apart right now and the division in our society and people uh, that are not seeing the truth in all this. And I know that everyone goes, well, what is the truth? Because we don't know what to believe entirely because we also know there's, there's opposition that tries to you know, pull us in a different, in a direction that we think is true, but it ends up not being true. But we know there is a truth out there about all this and what the agenda is all about. And that we know, and that is what we're trying to get people to be aware of that, you know, we're being, we've been led down a very dangerous path of you will own nothing and be happy. You know, we know that this is what the agenda was. The so, great reset, the great and it's reset. and it's been well reported. It's not- They're not even hiding it. <laughs> 
So what are what are the action steps? Obviously, you're involved. Theo Fleury is involved. Mm -hmm. uh, Joseph is involved. Uh, Tamara Leach is involved. Mm -hmm. What's the the major focus right now? Well, I think we're all, um, you know, we're, we're, we haven't really come together to, we're still building the set, obviously it's not, that isn't done yet. And we're connecting with some very high profile people in the US to get that support because we wanna be North American, we wanna be united. And right now, I think the focus is really about just continuing to speak out. We get, Theo and I both get a ton of people messaging us daily, thanking us for having the courage to speak out because a lot of people aren't feeling safe to. Uh, they'll lose their jobs, they'll lose their family, they'll lose their friends, like whatever that is for them. And I understand that. For me, um, I pretty much lost everything already in my past life. <laughs> this last year and a half, I, I, my, my best friend group uh, told me I was a risk to be around not being vaccinated uh, and that I was following a white supremacist community and they can't support that. How is it possibly a white supremacist yeah, community? Well, because we know that the mainstream media has made it out that anyone following the truckers or anyone following any of this alternative news, it's all conspiracy. And then they also label it as racists and bigots. And I mean, I've been called every name in the book. So I think, I, and you asked me just a question before about like how, a little bit of a story. So it wasn't until this past January of 2022 where I literally was sitting in my house and I said, it's go time because I was quiet. I haven't said a thing through COVID. I mean, if anything, I was still sleeping and I was bought into, you know, you need to wear a mask, do your part. And I was that person. I was looking at people not wearing masks going, you're part of the problem, not the solution. I was following what the media was saying, brainwashing us to believe. And then I woke up to it all. And um, so it was not until January of 2022 where I, I, I said, it's go time. You've got, you've got to speak out. Um, and everybody from my past circle was literally mortified. They said, you are ruining your reputation. Do you realize what you're doing? And I said, well, you know what? If ruining my reputation for helping to help, to help society see what's really going on here, if that's going to make me lose fans, then so be it. Because one day they're going to see that this is really what's happening. And they're going to need us. They're going to look back and go, oh my gosh, Jamie, Theo, Rebel News, all these people were putting out information that we were, they wanted you to see. They wanted you to be aware of that the media is telling you guys uh, is, you know, it's BS. What do you think about the treatment of Tamara Leach, especially the fact that she was rearrested back in jail? There are people who say that mass murderers have been better treated. Oh, we know that. This is absolutely ridiculous. I think... There's two sides to this. I think they're, you know, they're trying to show, uh, you know, you can't do this. And they're trying to, you know, be the, the tyrannical government that they are and make it look like, don't you dare try this again kind of thing, because this is what we're going to do to you. But then I also, I also see this as that it's good because it's going to wake, again, I think it's part of waking more people up to see like this woman was doing a really good thing. It actually, this whole convoy to me, and I know you guys were there, and that's actually a lot of what I watched was Rebel and because you were right on the ground. And I, like you could see very clearly that this was not a terrorist attack or, I mean, of course, Antifa was there. We know that. And those of us who are awake and follow all this stuff, we know that that's what that was all about. But the general purpose and intention of this convoy, which she was involved in heading up, she wasn't initial, part of the initial setup of it, but she got involved a little bit into it and did wonderful things along with many of them, the organizers. And because maybe she's more the outspoken one, I don't know why she, her and Pat King are in jail or whatever, but it's absolutely ridiculous. And, but I truly believe these people are gonna become very, I wouldn't say famous, but like very big from this because they stood their ground. They, they, you know, they had our backs. They, they didn't cave into this. Like it takes a lot of courage to stand up and do what everyone's doing speaking like you interviewing me right now that you know we get we get hate messages for doing what we're doing what about people who who do support you well i was just going to allude i was going to go in oh my buddy wants to be in the interview <laughs> now i was going to go into that but the beautiful part in this and the gift in this for me was the fact that speaking my truth i've reconnected with old friends i have found incredibly beautiful souls out there who are all on the same page and on the same mission 
to help people. This isn't about shaming anybody. It's not about ridiculing anybody. It's about creating awareness. And we need to be united, not divided, which is what the media has done. So what can individual people do? Obviously, you want to raise awareness for your group and so forth. Um, what can a, the average person who's going to be viewing this do to say, let's, uh, let's do something about it? Well, I think it's just really important um, to, you know, you can definitely check out the website. It's canadiansfortruth.net and follow Theo and I and follow Joe, Joseph Bargo and on social media right now. And we are, there's my other buddy, we are going to be getting everything uh, launched here hopefully in the next couple months. We're very anxious to get it going. Um, obviously, um, you know, doing this kind of interview and you helping us promote this, sorry, all my animals, I'm surprised my cat's <laughs> not here too, but you know, all of us talking and, and people, if they want to support, all you have to do is, is follow, you know, it's, it's as simple as that. And, and even by following and, you know, you don't have to always put your voice out there because I know people don't necessarily want to, there's too much to lose for people. And I, I respect that. I'm not judging of anybody of that, but it's because uh, I understand how difficult this is. I Some days I go to bed and I'm just shaking because I'm like, wow, there's a lot of people that hate me right now. But I'm like, one day they're not going to, one day they're going to go, wow, she really was on this. But, and yeah, so I think just in general, sorry to answer your question again, it's just really about following us and, uh, you know, supporting us. For more news you won't find anywhere else, go to rebelnews.com.